So how's matchstick.com working out for you? I met someone. Really? His name's Peter. He's amazing. I mean, I have orgasm dreams at night just thinking about him. <laughs> orgasm dreams. These days we call those wet dreams, Nicole. God, I haven't had one of those since Larry wet the bed after his college reunion. Oh, honey. Mommy's gonna do some yoga. Okay, come here, babe. So what does your husband think of this Peter character? Funny. <laughs> you know we don't even talk to each other in the morning. Well, but if I flat out told him I was having an affair, I wouldn't even register with him. It's like, he's in his own little world. God, we used to talk about everything. Oh. Now, we don't even connect. There are no surprises. You know why? It's because you never got to sow your wild oats. Oh God, I feel some wisdom coming my way. Oh, I'm just saying, you never got to, like, you know, fuck a bunch of strangers and get, you know, gangbang by a fraternity your freshman year. And that happened to you? Absolutely it happened to me. Okay, I went to Duke, first of all. Second of all, I was blacked out for most of it, but it happened. That's the point. <sighs> Are you guys at least cyber-fucking yet? Ew, no! Come on. It's nice to have someone, you know, pay attention to me. Besides, it's your fault, by the way. You're the one that got me onto this site. Okay, yeah, but you know, I told you to spice up your sex life and that's it. You're not supposed to fall in love on this site, okay? You don't know anything about these guys. You don't know where they're from. You don't know what they do. I mean, this guy could be in prison and his name is definitely not Peter. That is the point. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's just that we're connecting on a different level, you know? Okay, well, what if you're not attracted to him? What if he looks like Dick Cheney? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that. Okay, well, I'm just saying, you just need to fuck this guy in a bathroom and that's it, okay? I'm serious, not this emotional shit, okay? I can't imagine you're gonna get this guy hard by talking about your feelings and your emotions, okay? You are a gorgeous, beautiful woman and you're in a shitty marriage and you're not getting laid and it's pissing me off. Not everyone has sex all the time. Have you seen Son of a Woman? Al Pacino? Al goddamn it Pacino, yes. You know what he says? He says, when in doubt, fuck. <clears throat> what does that even mean? It means, I, I have a feeling this guy is just gonna part your pussy like Moses did the Red Sea. He's just gonna fuck you. Like, remember that forest ranger that I was fucking off of Craigslist? Like that guy. You gotta just hear. You just grab his fucking cock and you act like you need to guzzle it like after a 40 mile hike in the desert. Okay, you just grab it and you fucking squeeze it in your face and you just take it like a fucking man. Just take it in your fucking face. Just ah. <clears throat> You'll thank me. You will thank me one day. But it tastes like pink berry. It's delicious. <laughs> You're crazy. You should break for Hustler or something. I, that magazine's disgusting, first of all. <laughs> I'm just saying, women say that they don't like it when men come on their face. They're goddamn liars, okay? We all like it, we all do it. Fascinating. We decided to meet. <gasps> oh my god, he's here! Oh my god, that's crazy! How are you gonna know it's him? He's gonna wear an orange scarf so I can recognize him and... Uh... Oh my god!